Hello students, welcome to EduAid. My name is Amarjit Dev. Well, to, uh, in my last class, we have learnt about the meaning, definition and elements of coordination. I hope you have understood what was said. Of course, you need to revise to remember. That's, that's the common rule. I know, I'm sure you know about it. Today, we'll be learning about the characteristics of coordination. Okay, there are six characteristics of coordination and let us learn one by one. Let us learn the first one. Coordination helps to integrate group efforts. Okay. This signifies that whenever there is a group activity, whenever there is a group activity or a you know group activity would signify various departments various departments coordination will will ensure that all departments are working in a harmonious fashion and it will integrate it will bind together the various activities of the department so that it comes out as a whole as a one as a one force okay to the end consumer for example when you buy goods let us say let us take the example of a mobile phone when you buy a mobile phone you go to a shop and you get the phone next comes a lot of allied services right for example the service provider you may choose any service provider that you think is good good enough and then the story begins when you're using the phone you may have some problem downloading because of the speed and the speed was is not as per the speed promised by the service provider or or the pack that you have taken what do you do you complain to the customer care the customer care forwards the complaint to the product department the product department forwards it to the technical department the technical department forwards it to that that particular zone from where the complaint has come have you seen the circle that is going on well that is integration and group efforts as, and then finally, you get a call from the service provider and the problem is getting sorted out very soon or it has been sorted out or you have been told to do the needful. Sometimes there is a problem in the settings of the handset, whatever it is. But have you got the example of group efforts? So this is what it comes whole as in totality to the customer. The customer is not aware about the mechanics going behind the scene. Okay. Similarly, movie making, you know, you see the movie, but there are so many things involved, you know, I'm not going into that, but same example, right? Let's, let's talk about the second characteristic of coordination. Unity of action. Coordination brings about unity in the work that is being done action here means the work that is being done that action can be considered as a service i mean service provider will is it a call action uh, to me it's a service but to the company person it's an action that he's trying to do okay it can be a service it can be a task whatever it is so unity here means everybody is involved in that you can you may see one or two person you may see the salesperson or the marketing manager but behind him there are a lot of other people who are uh, working okay so that is unity of action let us go to the third point continuous coordination is a continuous process what do you mean by it it's a never-ending process it goes on and on and on okay because when you are when you are when the coordination itself is not a function please remember it helps the all the other functions to take place so therefore whether you're talking of planning, whether you're talking of organizing, you're talking of directing, you're talking of staffing, you're talking of coordinating, uh, sorry, controlling. Coordination is the central element which helps to bind together all the functions of management. Okay. 
and it is a continuous process. A manager will simultaneously carry out all the different activities. He may be in a meeting for planning. He may be immediately after in the next half, he may be meeting few clients to solve their issues. In the evening, he may be discussing business plan with his team. So there's a, there's a, I would say multi-layered activity. Okay. Or we say, you know, different tasks which a manager carries out. Okay. Let's move to the next point. All pervasive or universal, which means coordination is present everywhere. Nothing can be done without coordination. You may, you are, either you are aware of it or you are not aware. That's a different question. Okay. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, I would say let's take an example of a civil construction. Okay. Civil construction, money, may construction of, let us say construction of road or bridge or anything for that matter. Now the laborers and their headmen may not be knowing anything about accounts, finance or management, but they, with their experience, they are doing a lot of planning and, you know, they are integrating their efforts and they are guided by the contractor and so on and, so, and, and some of the uh, site engineers and so, uh, and so on. However, in that whole process, they are following certain principles of management and if i am to talk of one of it then i would say it is coordination they are coordinating between the various you know raw materials you know maybe the, uh, the today's work will depend on whatever materials that we have got in the form of you know iron rods and cement and other things based on this we will plan the today's work because no more raw materials are coming today okay and we don't want the laborers to be sitting idle so how do we plan the work that's one example i have given you it's applied everywhere, even in our home, in our kitchen, in any marriage ceremony, in any function. It's, a, it's pervasive, it is universal. Of course, in organizations, it is definitely applied at all levels, different types of organizations. And it integrates the various functions of management. Okay. And amongst the various departments, Ketaman department or Nam Kwasan Tumaloke? Okay, accounts, finance, marketing, IT. All these functions will be integrated in pursuit of products and services that needs to be delivered to the customer. Why don't you know? organization or products functions were a but those functions will be integrated so that the end result is we come out with those brilliant products or services. Let's move to the fifth point. Coordination is the responsibility of all levels of managerial position all levels now you know what are the levels we are talking of right top level middle level and lower level coordination is the responsibility of all level managers because at every level the responsibility the type of work is very much well defined please remember organization of kambur well defined thakibo but in order to carry out the work and in order to achieve coordination between the various levels there has to be effective managers in place and those managers are at various levels and they achieve coordination and through coordination they get the work done therefore it is the coordination is the responsibility of managers of all the levels let us move to the last point It is a deliberate function already I'm a continuous process will be so it is a deliberate function or a continuous activity deliberate means you will actually coordination or corner key like without communication the coordination cannot happen so when you are coordinating you are communicating you are interacting so that it's a deliberate process so that doubts are clarified there are a lot of questions if you have questions you will ask your managers okay you'll ask your customers so on and so forth i mean customer feedback form will go to my website or sabah in various company websites the products that you are using will all have websites you can log in and share your complaints or your feedback okay that will bring about more coordination between the sales team and the marketing team and the product management team and the research team 
Are you getting the point? Okay, in terms of how they have visualized the product and how the product is getting uh, used by the customer. What is their feedback? Yesterday we talked about control function, if you remember. Okay, control is actual performance and the target performance. Is there any gap in performance? So when customers give you feedback about the products, you can identify where the gap is. I mean, code bhalgo riva paru. Okay, so it's a deliberate process in order to aspire or in order to achieve the management predetermined management objectives. Okay, students, let's take down few questions. First question is explain the various characteristics of coordination. That is the first question. The second question could be short questions like, you know, what do you mean by integrating group efforts? Or you can uh, have some questions like coordination helps in unity of action, true or false, explain. So if it is false, you explain why it is why it does not do if it is true how unity of action is achieved through coordination in one or two sentences you will have to explain Buzipala, co coordination is pervasive or universal explain coordination kyo pervasive hoy kyo universal hoy okay similarly for all the other characteristics okay thank you